So today I'm gonna record the process of me becoming a basic Provo girl. <laughs> so I live in Idaho and go to BYU Idaho and there's lots of uh, differences between BYU Idaho and BYU Provo and there's a stereotypical Provo girl and I want to become the basic Provo girl in preparation of me going to Provo tomorrow. The characteristics that make a girl a basic Provo girl are one, fake eyelashes, two, fake tan, three, blonde hair, uh, and they're all named four. Emily. And they're all named Emily. She'll say stuff like fetch, brick, crack. <laughs> I mean, I, I think that Did you get the for... blonde thing? The bl yeah, they're blonde. Super blonde Super highlights. Super blonde. Still looks good. And they are pretty. But they all but. look the same. <laughs> This into a uh, turning into a basic Vasa Provo girl, okay? Freaking Vasa fitness. Yeah. There's this place called Vasa in Provo. Vasa fitness. Every girl that goes there, that's a basic Provo girl, look the same. I think our stove is like shifted to the left because every time I cook an egg, it just slides to the left. So basically, today, what we're gonna do is. We're gonna tone my hair, and then we're gonna fake tan my body, lots of shades darker, and then we're gonna put some fake, put some fake eyelashes on. We forgot the most important aspect of a basic of culture. culture. Of warming culture, but they all are trying to get married. I'm telling you, I went to Vasa Fitness with my boyfriend. My, ow, my boyfriend happens to be a very large man. We walk into freaking Vasa and these girls that look the exact same, they happen to be twins though, but I didn't know that. But they look the exact same, obviously, and they stare right at Jake and Jake looks at me and he goes, you know, they're a lot nicer when you're not around. And ever since then, I've just had a problem with Provo girls. So I'm gonna turn myself into one. Cause that makes sense. Bye, right. Devin's going to her counseling appointment. Have fun, make good decisions. Remember who you are. No smoking, no poking, no sipping, no tripping, no horning, no porning. No promises. Bye. Love you, bye! Don't get a parking ticket! What? Don't get a parking ticket! You. You've already gotten like three. So if I know a thing or two about basic Provo girls is that they always have fake eyelashes or eyelash extensions and they don't wear too much eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna do that. And the longer I'm doing this, the more I realize I am very much like a basic Provo girl. But we're just going to forget about that. Ow! Ah, I just brushed my eyeball. Okay, now I have to do my mascara. So, for all of you who are wondering, um, so I'm going down to Provo this weekend to go hang out with my boyfriend. We're doing long distance right now, and honestly, kind of sucks. It stinks. Kind of stinks. So... Not a huge fan of that, but anyway, I love going to Provo. Here's my, here's my thing. I'm not bashing Provo or people in Provo. It's a fun college town, but I wonder if it's only fun just because Rexburg is really boring. Anyway, okay, so this is the second step to becoming a freaking Provo girl is the fake eyelashes. Every girl that I see in Provo has freaking fake eyelashes. Or eyelash extensions, that's what it is. And they make them way too thick and way too dark. I'm not judgmental. Hello, I finished my Provo Girl makeup and I realized that it's the exact same as I normally do my makeup. So I'm gonna pack now. So I'm only gonna be in Provo for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we don't really need that many clothes. Oh, 
I have my clothes that are in the dryer. <laughs> ah, okay, so I just remembered that I'm going sledding tomorrow. So I need to make sure that I bring clothes that I can wear in the snow. And I don't own snow pants, so this should be interesting. three hours and I am not done packing. As a matter of fact, there's all my clothes. Okay, so I finally finished packing everything. I have it all here. I just need to pack my toothbrush and like things like that in the morning. Um, and so now I'm gonna go take a shower and I'm gonna tone my hair to make it more blonde. Um, and just exfoliate and stuff so that I can fake tan. And I also have my outfit picked out for tomorrow. I'm gonna wear these Gymshark leggings with this white shirt and some Vans. And I'm gonna have my hair in a braid and I'll wear a hat. Hello? Hello so, I just took a shower and I toned my hair twice. <laughs> Somebody sounds angry. Okie dokie. So, I'm gonna use this self tanner called Tanned AF in the darkest color they have. Ah! <laughs> okay, first we're gonna exfoliate my body. Are you naked in front of the camera? No! I'm gonna get naked and tan. Bye vlog, bye vlog. I am done and I double coated my spray tan or I double coated myself and I have to leave it on for four hours so it's six o'clock and I get to take it off at ten. It says four plus hours so I could go even later. Anyway, I'm gonna make myself some food. cereal again but I've had cereal twice today <laughs> okay so um, I my tan is setting it has three more hours before I can do anything or take a shower Courtney just tanned and she tanned her face I did and um, so we're basically not allowed to do anything for the next except I'm literally going to Walmart like right now so I'll check in later tonight Peace out, Girl Scouts. Hello, guess where we are again? <laughs> Taco, Taco Bell! Uh, this semester's filled with bad decisions. Wait, what? We're about to go to the temple. I don't... <laughs> so, we're going to Taco Bell. Okay, by the way, it's like 10, 10 o'clock, and um, I still have my tan on. I haven't washed it off. But anyway, um, we are going to go to the temple... It's closed. We're just going to go sit outside the temple um, to feel the spirit. And then we decided to go to Taco Bell first. So, anyway. <laughs> 